Hey guys, welcome to another video. My name is Lori and welcome to my channel and my life. So today guys, we are doing Mask Monday. <music> Welcome to Mask Monday. So before I get started, let me tell you a little bit about myself. Hold on. So first, let me tell you, my name is Lori and welcome to my life. So my channel is based upon my life as a blind individual. I'm actually legally blind, so I see nothing out of my left eye and shapes, colors and lights out of my right eye. Unless I use this machine behind me or beside me, I can enlarge things so that I can see them better. Still blurry, but much better than without it. So, as you see, I'm just cleaning a pair of my glasses. So, you're going to see me in different glasses every time you see me because <laughs> I have lots of glasses and it all depends on how I'm seeing that day. So, I think these might be the plus six or sevens. So, today, though, we're going to do a mask Monday which is doing a face mask with everybody. So I'm doing a Tony Moly and it is the I'm Cherry Blossom. And it is a brightening mask. So we're gonna get this mask on and then I'm gonna tell you about my haul that I did at Hobby Lobby. I think I opened these from the bottom. Yep, oh, serum everywhere. Open that way too fast. Okay. So the Tony Moly masks are one of my favorite because they do have a ton of serum in them. They do not skimp on giving you what you need to brighten your face for this one. So I'm trying to be very careful and pull apart, which you think I'm blind. I always touch things so it'd be easy. Not always the case. <laughs> I could be a hot mess pulling stuff apart. I have ripped a mask before, getting frustrated and pulling it apart. So let me see, I feel another end. Where's it at? <sighs> okay, we're gonna move down to a different part so I can figure out where to do. Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. Y'all see? upside down but it's there so I'm gonna put it on and then I'll pull the tabs out oh this smells wonderful Still have a few little pieces that I need to pull up and out. And I think I'm not careful. I'm going to tear this one. To me, it doesn't matter if it's in my hair or not. It'll all come out in the wash, right? See how well I did here. The only parts I always worry about are the eye and I just pulled it apart. So part of the face mask is now torn, but that's okay. I'm still doing it. Okay, so I have that on and I'm going to put on this little face mask holder because it helps to keep my mask in place and not fall off. Just goes around your ears. And if you can kind of keep it where your other mask is underneath, 
We'll see how it does. Okay, so this one is the Cherry Blossom Brightening Mask. I don't wanna turn it upside down because all the extra serum will come out. So, I was gonna tell you about my haul. So, I have a lot of fall decorations and you'll see that in the upcoming video on October 1st. But I got some more decorations for the house, which of course, I got a couple of outdoor and a couple of indoor. So I'm gonna show you first my out, my indoor. So I got two plates that are fall. Let me show them to you. And they are glass, but they are super pretty. So in my formal dining room, I call it, is one, you know, you just don't eat in all the time. It's set up with dishes and they are a harvest platter on each um, placemat. But, sorry, I'm gonna keep moving this around. As I talk, it moves. Um, I couldn't find six of them, so, I got these two to go in my breakfast area. I also decorate the breakfast area with just small decorations, but I do set up places for two people. So I got two of those. Well, I was hoping to show you the prices, but my eyes today are not good enough and it's, um, it's all broken when I look through it, so we won't do that today. But I'm still going to show you. So I got the two plates. And yes, I have to bend down because they're on the floor. So I got this little pumpkin. And it's got the little stake in it for your garden area. So I thought this was really cute. Everything was 50% off at Hobby Lobby. I also received this welcome sign. And it has like the two with the pitchfork at the bottom so that I can put that in there. Garden, I'm gonna actually put that in my front um, walkway so that the two signs will be right there when people walk up towards the door. Um, I have, I'll have to show you my outside, but I have like stairs going down from the front door that are brick. And at the very end, there's a big square on each side and I have glass pumpkins in, or ceramic pumpkins sitting on each of those with a candle inside, like a LED candle inside. But I'll show you those when I show you the rest of the decorations today. Okay, the next thing I got were these two little placemats. They're like this burnt orange, really pretty fall color. And like I said, everything was half off. But I got these two. Um, in my living room, I have a table in front of my couch. And I normally keep this um, brass, or what would you call it, nickel finish. Um, container that has pine cones and things of the season in there. And so I'm going to take out the pine cones. I have something that I'm going to put in there and I'm going to sit it on this. And then the other one I'm going to put under the flowers in the breakfast area, but I'll show you those. Now to put into that container that I'm taking the pine cones out of, I bought some of these, which are nice and colorful for fall and Halloween. And I got a second one that has different color pumpkins too, oranges and creams. So oh, there's some pine cones too. So I'm gonna put these things inside of that container. Hopefully I will insert a picture next to each of these where they're going. And then this really shocked me. My husband, we've been in here five years and he has never wanted to put down any kind of rug in my kitchen. He wants to make sure that they aren't the kind that um, 
leave marks. You know, when you move them, there's marks of where they've been. So he got this for me. So it's pretty big, guys. It's probably at least two feet long or more. And um, two, maybe two feet high and three feet long. So it's going to go in my kitchen where the sink is, I think, because that's where I spend most of my time. So that is everything that I picked up at this. I just, I'm going to put a picture side by side of each item that I put out so you can see. And I'm also going to do the um, a, a video of the front. I don't have a lot of stuff out there. Um, not yet anyway. I have a couple more decorations that are in a Dollar Tree haul that I did that I probably will put outside also. I love to decorate guys and you'll see Christmas is my favorite time. I grew up with my mom being very festive and um, always having Christmas look beautiful on a budget, you know, it's, we didn't have a lot of money growing up with four kids, you know, and my mom worked as payroll specialist and a secretary. And then my dad did computer work, but before he did computers, when we lived in New Jersey, he was a truck driver for years, him and his dad and his brother all drove trucks for God, 20 years or more. And then when we moved to California, I was 13 and we moved there because my, my mother's family was close there and friends, my mom and dad's best friends had moved there. So we have always been in to Christmas. My mom, she can take a 99 cent garland and make a tree on the wall out of the garland and put presents under it. You know, those are things I remember, and those were happy things that I remember. Like I said, you don't have to have a lot of money to enjoy being with your family at Christmas. Um, as you guys know, last November, my dad had two heart attacks, and then he had a triple bypass, and I flew out to be with him and to help. And I was there till the 23rd um, of December. And the only reason I was not there through Christmas is because my daughter and her family, son-in-law and all them, were getting ready to move to Japan. And this would be the last Christmas I got to spend with them. So um, this year though, it's just my husband and I and my son and his two girls. I think he gets them for Christmas, so I'm really excited for them to come spend time with us at Christmas. I'm a hard time though, guys. You're gonna see me on videos telling you I'm having a hard time because my daughter and son and boys are not here. I know they're doing good though. Um, she, so on Saturday, it was my grandson Camden's eighth birthday. Uh, we sent him a bike, which I'll put a picture of um, next to here. And this is what we we sent him, her the money. She went and got the bike for us. And then um, he got it for his birthday. And I hate to have to do that, but you never know how long it takes to send stuff yet. Because we she just moved there in July. And so we're kind of trying to figure the whole thing out. But he got his bike for his birthday and he was so excited they actually called me before I could call them and both of the boys are playing soccer and they have been playing soccer for a few years here too and they both got on teams over there in Japan and um, they were at a game when he called me to thank me for the bike my husband and I and so we always sing happy birthday to them and so we sung our happy birthday and got to talk to him. And he was telling me how excited he was for that bike and telling my husband. So it was, it was awesome. It was totally awesome. But for Christmas this year, it's going to be different. I just have to choose to know that 
um, they're doing good and that they'll be home in a few years for Christmas again. So that's okay. I completely understand, but it's hard on grandma's heart, you know, for, for that, my boys and, um, my daughter and son-in-law, but we'll get through it. But I am very festive when it comes to Christmas. Um, I've already been listening to Christmas music, guys. I know, right? Christmas music already. I'm not even at Halloween yet, and I'm thinking about Christmas. But that's just how I am. My husband knows how I am. And so I turned on my Hallmark app again. So there's a Hallmark app, and I'll put a picture of it next to here, that you can get, and it's like, I don't know if it's $5.95 a month because um, we don't get Hallmark Channel. And so I pay for that and I can just watch all of the Christmas movies that I want to watch. So I already watched one this morning. I watched about one a day and then all the new ones are coming out, you know, but I've been watching past ones and it, it doesn't bother me that they're past ones. I just enjoy a great Christmas movie with a wonderful love story where everybody gets together at the end. I'm a sucker for it. What can I say? Um, and my husband tolerates it. He knows when I want to watch it on the TV, he doesn't say anything. And, you know, when he wants to watch something, I, I need to just let him watch something. So a lot of times we watch whatever we want to watch on our iPads. I bought this metal stand that I can put in front of me and it bends so it'll be like, I watch TV when it's about here. And then I can kind of see what's going on, but there is audio description. So if you ever go into your phone or say you're on Hulu um, or some streaming um, TV place, um, you can go into the languages and add audio description onto most things, not everything. Um, so you can add it if it's available and it will give you an audio description of the movie as you watch the movie. I love it. My husband said it doesn't bother him and I don't know how <laughs> because I would think that it would annoy him because I'll be watching and it'll say, and so-and-so leaped forward and stepped down. And it doesn't talk when they're talking, but it talks around what they're talking. So I know what's going on when someone like glares at somebody or somebody does something um, or something explodes and it, it's not noise, they'll tell me. So I love it. I love, love, love it. But I can use that on my Hallmark um, app. And if I'm having a bad eye day, then I can add it. If I'm not having a bad eye day, I can just leave it normal. So Christmas is coming. And I will definitely be decorating for that too. So every year I just try to add a few things. This year I actually added more things than I've normally added. Um, I really wanted to find those dishes. I'm gonna put in a picture here. But I, I wanted to find the dishes and I even went online, I can't find them anymore. I'm like, God, this sucks, you know? So my husband found the ones I showed you, these ones right here. And this is what we're gonna use. And it's just for the breakfast area. And you know, I got decorating for my mom, I think. I don't remember her decorating much on um, Thanksgiving or Halloween. She did do some, but mostly it was Christmas. But this is like my intro to Christmas and the change of seasons, you know. We haven't seen that here yet. It's like 90 degrees. So the next couple of days are supposed to be 90s. I think go down in the 80s and then go back up in the 90s. And hopefully level out in the 80s or 70s. 70s are like perfect weather. I love 70s. Now you guys know how much I love the beach. And if I ever move there, I'm not going to get you know, a change of season. In Arkansas, we get a change of season, which is awesome. But in winter, we don't get that cold, cold winter that the North gets or the East gets, because um, we're down in the South. So we still get cold. It could be 32 one day, but we don't get much snow, mostly ice. So that's one thing I don't look forward to is ice. But now it's, it's, 
it's a little different. I don't work anymore. I retired two years ago. And they used to make us come in when the streets were ice. So the whole base would be closed down, but our boss would make us come in and work um, or we had to take vacation, you know? So, you know, if you didn't have any vacation, you had to go in there because you didn't, you didn't have a vacation to use. So it would be like, I remember one time, it was probably six inches of snow. We had, that was years ago. It was probably six inches of snow and we owned our truck and not a car. And I mean, we couldn't even barely get down the streets because they weren't even snow plowed yet. And my husband drove me to work. And that day he went in and actually worked in his office because he was about a uh, block away from where I worked. And he didn't want to try and drive home again, you know, and then drive back again and drive home again. So he stayed and worked even though he wasn't supposed to be. And I worked and then we went home. But I'm just glad I don't have to do that anymore. Oh. Alexa, cancel. So tell me if you guys are already thinking about Christmas. Or is it just me? Could be just me. Oh, guys, this feels so good. I'm going to let this soak in. And then I'm going to add the rest of the serum after this soaks in a little bit. Ugh, that feels so good. And then I'll be ready for the rest of my day, right? So, if you are not subscribed and you would like to subscribe, let me move this thing, it's fallen. If you are sub not subscribed and would like to subscribe, hit the red subscribe button down below, the bell to be notified when I put out new videos, and the like button, please. It's just a real quick click. So I appreciate that you came here today. Comment down below. Tell me about what you do at Christmas. Are you ready for Christmas or are you a Grinch? <laughs> no Grinch here. Okay, guys, I love you and thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.